What's up, guys? So earlier there was discussion about Nightwing having this 50-50, right? And he sort of does in the sense that he has a high, an overhead and a low launcher and staff, right? Uh, ground Blast Meter Burn is a low launcher and staff, and Stand 2 is a launcher, an overhead launcher and staff. So he does have one of each. But people were saying it was like a true 50-50, couldn't guess your way out of it, and, you know, you just have to guess, or you have to guess your way out of it. You can't react. Myself and a few others are like, no, 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 no. You can definitely react to one or the other. Like, the overhead has this huge swooping motion. Even if they start up in about the same amount of time, you can react to it because, you know, it's got this weird overhead animation where he looks like he's leading a goddamn parade or something. But people were arguing, and I didn't want to argue. I was like, I'm going to go try it myself. And if I can't do it, then it, everybody must be full of shit because I play Nightwing, and I have lots of Nightwing experience. So... I should be able to do it of all people, right? So, uh, that's what I've done. I've done dash dash ground blast or dash dash overhead. I'm going to try to block one or the other. And if you guys know, my advice to blocking staff is block low until you see the overhead. So, that's what I'll be doing because uh, that's how it works. So, after the overhead, he's negative and it's your turn. You should be swinging like a motherfucker. So, that's that's what I'm going to try. And then I'll talk about some other Nightwing staff pressure that's not really as good as people think it is. But, uh, you know, Nightwing players get away with it because not a lot of people know how to get out of it. So, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so that was definitely a low. That was an overhead. That was another overhead. That was a low. That was a low. Overhead. Oh, whoa, triple dash? Jesus. All right, so <laughs> I did a triple dash in there. That was ridiculous. Uh, I guess when I did the training mode, it ate my inputs or something, because when I did it, it was double. That was weird. So I was, was like four or five times in a row, right? And I, I blocked it. So... I mean, it's not hard to block. You you can block it on reaction. I mean, it's not like it's an infinite. Okay, hey, I'll try it one more time. There we go. So, yeah, it's not hard to block. I just blocked it, I don't know how many times, like, what, six times in a row or something? It's not hard to block. It's You can react to it. So, now that that's out of the way, uh, if you have Nightwing experience, you can react to it. So, let's reset this, this training mode. Um, we'll put it back to the middle of the screen and I'll talk about something else, right? So, uh, one of the things I see mentioned a lot is that after Meter Burn Pound, Nightwing is, you know, plus enough that he gets the same kind of pressure he does after Meter Burn Spin. Uh, that's actually not true. Because after Meter Burn Pound, you'll push them away enough that you can't get the same kind of pressure, right? So, uh, let's say I do, so I'm in Staff. And I do something like stand one, meter burn, pound. If they block it, you want to do jump two after, right? That's like a lot of people do stuff like that, right? So stand one, meter burn, pound, and then they want to do jump two after, which would hit me if I was like actually blocking in a real situation. I'll do jump one just for the sake of it, right? Stand one, meter burn, pound, and then jump one. So we'll try that. So that's that's what we're talking about here, right? Is a situation like that. Shoutouts to Nightwing's hitboxes. But in that case, after Meter Burn Pound, Nightwing can't get more pressure because you can backdash his jumping normals. Um, so it's it's literally not possible for you to get pressure after that. You, you can backdash it. And then you say, well, if they're backdashing, you can chase it with the Flying Grayson. But the problem is you can react to him jumping. You can just block down back after he does pound. And if you see him jump, you can backdash and the invulnerability frames will get you out. Okay, if he does flying grace and to chase something like that, you can react to flying grace and down to it. Or what I would do in a situation where somebody I knew was going to just like if they're in staff, they do meter room pound or whatever. I know they're going to do flying grace and I'm just going to duck. Like if I'm in a situation like this, I'll duck and I'm gone. I don't even try to contest it with punish it. Nothing like that. I just get out. Right, you can get into a situation where it'll pass over you and you can jump over. That was really far, but if you're at like right here range and he does flying grace into Rita backdash, you're gone. I'm walking away. And if your character outzones me, I have to switch back to Eskrim and stuff like that. Right, but uh, yeah, that was the main part about uh, meter burn pound that people were saying, yeah, meter burn pound works just like meter burn staff spin, but it doesn't because meter burn staff spin guarantees a stand one after, which means you have uh, you have to you get contact, but uh, meter burn blast doesn't because of the distance. So. That's the thing. Uh, and if you ever watch any of my sets against Joe or any other Nightwing player, you'll see that when they try to do meter burn pound and then jump forward after into something, which is what I used to do all the time, uh, and everybody in SoCal figured it out. You can down to it if you have a good down to, or you can just backdash. So those are your options. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. 
and dispel the rumor about his mix-ups being unblockable or whatever, infinites. So Nightwing doesn't have any infinites. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Clearly up a few things. And uh, thanks for watching.